It was a king's speech and we hung on every word. King Charles III delivering his historic first address, likely his most important. It was recorded in Buckingham Palace where veteran royal commentator Dickie Arbiter joins me now. Dickie, I think the king got this absolutely spot on, reflecting on his darling mama and looking forward to what his reign will be like. He couldn't have got it more right. It was absolutely spot on. And he touched on everything. He touched on his darling mama. He, uh, he mentioned that his eldest son, who was the Duke of Cambridge and is now the Prince of Wales, and his wife is the Princess of Wales. He gave his love to Harry and Meghan and wished them success across the other side of the Atlantic. And he kind of set out where he is going, that he will not be obviously taking a hands-on with his past charities, but he is confident that they will succeed because they're in the right hands, but he will be going forward. And from that speech, and before the speech, the walkabout outside Buckingham Palace has really set the pattern for his reign. And do you think that King Charles will be very different from Prince Charles? Not too different, but the, having said that, the only difference will be that he will not be making any major pronouncements. As Prince of Wales, he was able to talk about a variety of subjects. Sometimes he got his fingers burnt by politicians, sometimes he got his fingers burnt by architects and environmentalists, but he was a lead campaigner on climate change and the environment. That is his legacy as Prince of Wales. As King, he will be very much hands-on, but we won't be any hearing any uh, pronouncements that might just have been bordering on, on a political opinion. He will be following the lead that left by his late mother. He will be following the legacy left by his late mother. And with that, and armed with that, I believe he will be a very good king, albeit for a short reign, perhaps right up to a silver jubilee. But that's looking way ahead into the future. For now, we must look at the man now, and so far, he's been spot on and doing everything absolutely right. And he certainly made the people his priority with the walkabout yesterday, greeting crowds in that surprise move outside the palace. Is, though, healing the king's family the bigger job that he must address first up? Well, that is a family issue that he's got to address. The, the, the family issue being Harry and Meghan, uh, healing the rift, uh, bridging the chasm that is get, seems to be getting wider and wider. Andrew is another issue. There is no way back for Andrew. That was settled by the King's mother, the Queen, and there, Andrew will just have to perhaps play golf and grow vegetables and read newspapers <laughs> because there is no way back for him. Charles has very firmly got his hands on the tiller. He is now in charge and he will be very, very good at what he's doing. It was a good move yesterday. You mentioned he showed himself to be a man of the people. He's always been a man of the people. Yesterday was just endorsing that as sovereign. He endorsed it as Prince of Wales. New role yesterday, he's endorsed it then. And Dickie, how are you going with all of this? Because I know that you work so closely with the Queen and you were so close to her personally. How are you feeling in the wake of her death? Well, I'm feeling very sad. Um, and I suppose it, it was expected because she was getting frailer and frailer. I don't believe for a moment that she ever got over the death of her beloved husband, her liege man, her, her, her rock, um, who died 17 months ago in, in April 2021. Uh, they were together for 73 years and all of a sudden there was a hole left in her life. She did carry on, duty was her mantra, and right up to the end, as we saw last Wednesday, uh, meeting her 15th Prime Minister. But I think she finally realised that enough was enough and she'd had enough. Mm. And what happened on Thursday was the, 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 fi the final of it. Yes. Well, Dickie, it's always good to get your insights. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Deborah. Dickie Arbiter, outside Buckingham Palace.